Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're going to talk about how to reverse your boat and or your trailer into a boat ramp the most efficient way possible. This is something that does worry a lot of people. In many cases, you know, at the public boat ramp, there's going to be a lot of people watching and, and you just want to make sure that you don't make any mistakes. So I'm going to just show you the tips and tactics that at least I found uh, help me make sure that I, that I just do a you know, nice, smooth, uh, you know, reverse into the ramp. Uh, to cause as least amount of trouble as possible and just to get in and out as quickly as possible. So rule number one, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this, but the, the number one thing to focus on is, is just all about as far as when you pull out of the, the, you know, the preload area into the, the business area where you're about to launch in, it's all about pulling into there and try to do it so that you can already have your, your boat and trailer aligned with the slip that you're gonna be backing into. So I'm gonna do uh, an arch that, that goes you know close to the ramp I want to go and I'm gonna go straight away from it and then do it all the way till I get the trailer and my truck totally lined and I want to see the wheels you know the wheels of my trailer on, on both side view mirrors and so I'll put my GoPro uh, on my head so that you can see you, know, you can see what I'm talking about and uh, we'll have a drone showing it all as well so I'll try to give you you know every every single uh, look possible and uh, we'll go ahead and get started so I'm gonna be going into this ramp this lane right here this first one so we're going to get even about even with it and then just do a hard turn obviously looking for traffic from either direction and so i'm going to go completely away from it until i can see what's going on with my so now i can see the edge of the ramp in the rear view so now i'm going to start turning and so my goal here is to again make sure that i'm totally lined up i want to be able to see that tire with with uh with edges around and then I want to see the other one. So I got to turn over a little bit. Now I can see I have plenty of room on this side. Now I have room on this side. Now I know that I'm, I'm straight. And I All right, so given how important these side view mirrors are, as well as just knowing how to operate the, uh, the steering wheel in relation to where the boat is showing up in the mirror, I wanted to do this, uh, this detailed tutorial. So, so right now, uh, we're going to go through the process. Right now, we're, we're basically aligned. We're, you know, we're basically going straight back towards the, uh, the ramp. So the ideal scenario, what you want, your goal for the, uh, the side view mirror is you want to be able to see the side of your vehicle as well as the, uh, the edge of your boat, of your boat trailer, right? That you, know, you, can see the, you can see the wheel as well as the target. So we want to be, there's the dock that we're, we want to, uh, to basically put the boat in next to the dock. And as I reverse, I'm going to be watching, you know, these three, these three items to make sure that they're lined up properly so that we put the boat in at the, uh, at the right spot. And so as for the wheel, the easiest way to remember, it, like when you look into this mirror, if you want, if, if I want this trailer to go, to go over to the right, is I put my hand on the bottom of the wheel and I just move my, I'll turn the wheel to the right. That's going to, that's going to move the trailer over. If you have your hand on the top, it's, it's the opposite, right? You have to go left. Um, just for simplicity, if you want the trailer to go right from the bottom, push the steering wheel to the right and that's going to happen. So let's go ahead and get started. So right now I actually do want the, uh, the trailer to shift over to the right. And uh, so I'm going to move the, uh, the wheel and, uh, and small movements are all that's needed, right? So that was just a, like a, not even a quarter turn of the wheel and you can see the trailer is now coming back behind the truck. So now I'm going to do a little bit of a correction. Right, and so I just again I just moved like not even a quarter turn. It's plenty. So I'm, I'm gonna go move again So I want to get a little bit closer to the dock So I'm letting the trailer shift out a little bit toward the dock now again I need to start going right now. So I'll just barely tap the uh, the steering wheel and it's just going in right there next to the uh, next to the ramp the, the way to see and you know, make sure that you're totally aligned is so now we'll look over to the other side and, and we can see you know we can see the edge of the vehicle the edge of the truck plus the uh the trailer and uh and here there's no this is a wide lane so there's no target um, that's why in this scenario i'm putting most of my focus over on this side so i can see the dock i can see the target plus i can see that my uh my trailer's lined up so now again we're going straight it's all about just keeping the wheel straight and then we can go ahead and launch and uh and this boat is going to go exactly where we wanted it just by really focusing on this one mirror all right so now this is a bonus tip this is going to be the uh the most difficult way to launch and so we're going to pretend that we can't go straight we're going to pretend that we don't have this straight away so we're going to start over on this uh on this lane and then we're gonna have to do a 90 degree turn into the ramp 
And so again, the most difficult and the, and the turn is happening on the passenger side, which is uh, again, more difficult than the driver's side because you can't see everything. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up and then I'll just walk you through the, uh, the tactics. Again, it's, it's the same thing, but this time we actually do have to, uh, to turn the wheel a significant amount. So let's go ahead and start. So again, right now I'm gonna focus on the, uh, since the, the ramp, since the turn is over on the, uh, the passenger side, I'm, I'm really focusing on the passenger side mirror. So always focus on whichever, whichever side you're turning, that's the side that you wanna be checking out the mirror. So in this case, I can't see my target over here on the, on the left mirror, but I can see the, uh, the grass line. I can see that the curvature of the line, and that's going to the right. And so with this wheel, I'm gonna start moving over so that the trailer um, starts following that grass line. I'm gonna move my head forward so I can keep seeing it on the, uh, on the mirror. So at this point, I can't see anything in the mirror. I can't see a target. I can't really see what's going on. So now I really have to look in the uh, really behind the truck and just make sure that that we're going in the proper the proper curvature and you can see that we are you can see I could see the boat it's now getting closer to the dock we're actually going directly in line pretty soon so now I can uh, I can shift back to the mirror right because I now can see the side of my vehicle I can see the trailer and I can see the dock so right now this trailer is going way too close to the dock so I need to shift it over to the left Right, so on the steering wheel, I just do a hard turn left. That's gonna straighten us out. As we get closer, start straightening it. And now we are perfectly aligned, right? I can see, I can barely see the, uh, the wheel. I can uh, barely see it over here. That means we're perfectly aligned. So now we just have to, uh, to go straight back and we are launched. Again, that is the most difficult, uh, the most difficult type of situation. And, uh, and again, just focusing on the mirrors, knowing how to, uh, to adjust the wheel, um, that will really help overcome whatever, whatever type of, uh, of turning, uh, turning issue that you have at the ramp. All right, well, those are the, the tactics and strategies that I've found work best just to help make sure that I, that I get you know, in and out of the lanes as, as efficiently and effectively as possible. If you do have any suggestions on things that I missed, please do leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, you know, use that comment section ask any questions you have. This is a very important subject. And so I check this, I'll be checking this as frequently as I can. So thank you so much for your time and watching this video. I hope you can get out of the water soon and catch some big ones. There's something about the water that'll give you peace all by yourself or with your family. Live so strong and wear the line today.